And we are on air. Hi guys, my name is Brianna and today I'm here with my brother, Wyatt. And we're going to be making Swedish meatballs and mashed potatoes. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so Wyatt really loves cooking and baking. So yes, I do. last time we baked, today mm -hmm. we're going to be cooking. Mm -hmm. So we have everything we need out here already. So right here. I'm going to start on mixing the stuff we need for the meatballs. And you, big job. What? You're going to start with peeling the potatoes. All right, so you can put the all... No, stay here. Sit down. Why I don't, what? I don't peel. You can bring this to you. You can put all the peels in that bowl and then we'll dump it in the garbage so we can do everything here until the actual cooking part so you will do all the peeling when they're peeled you can put them up on here i'll go clean them and then we'll cut them and i'm gonna get started on the mixing the mixing for the meatballs once we get to the actual cooking portion i'm gonna pretty much have white doing the cooking right you're gonna cook the meatballs yeah all right so got about a pound of ground beef in here also like kind of gross for me because i don't really like dealing with raw meat but i'm gonna be mixing and this all with my hands. So fun. Right now I only have one hand touching the meat though because this hand I need to see the recipe for the amount. Yeah. I just need to keep on peeling away at potato. Yes. Yes sir. Okay it's going to be the beef, the panko. It's going to be a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. I don't really think through how it's going to do this. I know how. Wait. So many. Can you open this? Don't spill. I, no. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get scissors. Here, Wyatt, can you open the breadcrumbs? Yep. Thank you. Start putting these breadcrumbs into the meat. Okay, what's next? Tablespoon of parsley, quarter of a tablespoon of allspice, quarter of a tablespoon of nutmeg. All right. See, I didn't have all these seasonings, so I bought them new. Probably should have opened them before I started touching the meat, but... Yeah, you did. You should have. Yeah, I should have. Can you... I'm just painting away at this potato. And helping me open this. <laughs> Thank you. And how to open these. Well, I should have a pop top. But look, underneath, it's still closed. Look, open it. Oh, yeah, that's why I was opening it. Got it? What does it look like? So you're going to have me opening all the stuff? Yep. Because you have Here, this meat. one too. All spice. We don't have a cup measure. It's okay. I know measurements. Remember last time we didn't use a measuring for the baking either? It still came out perfect. Potato number one. Wait, last wait, time. here, can you open this one? I'm gonna touch this potato. Oh, for allspice? Nutmeg. That was kind of a lot, but it's okay. I made it to the other side of this potato. This potato is going a lot faster than the other one did. This meat is taking a long time to get everything all mixed in. Garlic powder. <sighs> you doing okay there? My arm hurts. So take a break. You want to crack the egg for me? Hit it on the edge a little more before that because we don't want any... any. <gasps> That's not exactly what I meant, but okay. Bye-bye, yolk. That Thanks. will go in there. Okay, now go clean off your hands. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to get me salt and pepper. The salt should be easy. Just It's open already. Just pour some is in. This is this too? That's pepper. Is it open already? No, just the salt is. How much? Start with just a little bit. That's good. A little more. And a little more of salt now. Just a little bit. Not as much as last time. <gasps> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that would be enough. What? Don't play Fortnite. Why? Really? Yeah. You're supposed to be cooking with me. All right. Well, this is all mixed. The only thing left to go in here yep. is onion i need to cut that up so i'm gonna we're gonna take a pause we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning up and set up to cut the onion as i'm playing fortnite i guess he's gonna play fortnite all right i'm all set to chop up this onion for the yeah. meatballs. Wyatt, we need the potatoes. Yeah, wait here. How many oh. do we need? The potatoes. Every single one? Yes. Why do we need so many potatoes? To make mashed potatoes. Jeez, this is We need a quarter cup of onion. Because I don't want to peel the whole onion because we don't need it all right now. I'm going to cut it before I peel it so I can like save this, you know, just put a little wrap over it. And just take this part, chop and chop and chop Potato three. I'm trying really hard to chop these onions, but I'm not so good at getting things finely chopped. So it is what it is. We will just have it like that. Oh, I know how to cut onions perfectly. You want to switch? Yeah. Oh, you can stay there. Just move this stuff. Thank you. That's how much we need. Just it needs to be finely chopped. Like, that's good? Yeah, that's how much we need. It just needs to be chopped more. Don't make a mess, though. Or try not to, rather. Next is going to be chopped. You don't want them to be too big or too small. When actually, we want them as small as possible. Because we're not sautéing the onions. They're going straight into the meatballs. This is like the quiet part of the video where we're just chopping. And then peeling onions. And peeling. 
going. Do you think that's small enough? It's up to us, because think about it, the bigger they are, the more crunchy you're gonna feel in the meatballs. You want it to be crunchy, or you just want it for flavor? Flavor. Yeah, so then you want it as thin as possible. <laughs> You're making a mess, kid. I did a tiny chop <laughs> and an explosion happened. That's pretty small. Okay, whatever you're happy with. Once you're happy with it, it can go in the meat. I think I am surprised with it so far. Surprised with, with what? The chopping so far. Yep, that should be good enough. Okay. You don't have to mix it in yet, but just toss it in there. And it's in. All right, we'll clean these off after they're chopped mm -hmm. because we're just gonna boil these. You just want me to chop them? Yeah. How big? Small pieces. The smaller the pieces, the faster they'll soften when we boil it. Because remember, we're going to have to mash them. Hi, Dusty. Dusty knows her name. <laughs> of course she knows her name. She's so smart. Oh, you can I keep can't... chopping potatoes. This is good enough. Well, chop them at least once more that way, you know? Mm. So they're not as big that way. You keep chopping. All the potatoes are peeled. I'm going to clean my hands. I'm going to set up a pot so we can start putting the potatoes in there as we're cutting them. And then I'll mix some meatballs. Watch the knife for a second. I'm going to start taking some potatoes and cleaning them and getting them in the pot. I'm not going to start boiling them until we have all of them. But no, you're going to start chopping the next potato as soon as I take these. You're yeah. playing Fortnite. You're not gonna help. Now it's time to run all the way down this wall. Can I chop the next potato? What? Am I cooking by myself or what is this? Mr. Mr. with his Fortnite. You're gonna miss like a minute of stuff while I switch the battery on my camera. And we're back and he's chopping. Okay, that's good. I'll take this one. I'll take the next potato. And it's a big okay. one. Okay, while you're cutting that potato, I'm gonna mix the onions that we just tossed into this bowl in with the meat. I know with the meatballs, what we're gonna do is just leave it in here like this and when when we're ready for the cooking portion, I'm gonna make them into meatballs and toss them in as why it's cooking. That way we don't have to dirty something else by making meatballs and putting them somewhere and blah blah blah. Okay, so that's mixed. I'm gonna go clean my hands so I can take the next batch of potatoes. So I am quickly cutting. Some of them are small. Okay, take the next potato. Next potato. Nice and clean. Ready for me to take the next one? Mm-hmm. All ready. I'm gonna get, just so we're ready to go, mm -hmm. the oil and butter into the pan for the meatballs. But we're not I'm gonna start it. I'm just gonna toss it in the pan. Next batch. Oh, you ready with the next potatoes? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That batch of potatoes is ready. And don't worry, they are split in half. This batch of potatoes is waiting. It's time to get the next batch ready. Time to start cutting again. God, this is a thick boy. It's a thick boy. Are these ready? I can take these? Yeah. Next batch is ready. Okay, and this is the last potato after this. The pot I originally got is not nearly big enough for the potatoes, so I'm getting another one. Okay, so the potatoes are starting to boil and the oil and butter is starting to heat up. We'll be able to start making the meatballs shortly. And then once the meatballs are done, we have to make the sauce for the meatballs. And by the time we're done with that, the potatoes should be done. Now I personally like sour cream on my potatoes and I also have the sauce for the meatballs. So it's just gonna be salt and pepper in the potatoes, nothing fancy. I'll probably add sour cream to mine, but later for the sake of the video, I will taste it with the sauce and stuff like that. But time to move to the kitchen we are done here all right so we got in that back pot over there our potatoes boiling they're probably gonna take a really long time and put the heat up as much as possible and then this front pan has some oil and some butter melting a lot of butter more butter than i would expect but that's what the recipe called for so we're just following the recipe and then over here i got a little thing we can toss the meatballs in as they're done so why are you ready to come over here yeah so he's gonna cook the meatballs and I'm going to I have them over here I'm gonna make them into balls and then he'll cook them once this butter's fully melted it'll start to heat up and then we can start tossing the meatballs in yeah. mixing this while the butter's melting once it starts to heat up I'll toss the meatballs in there for you mm -hmm. the butter's already almost melted all right well we gotta let it heat up a little bit too butter's melted well we gotta let it heat up a little bit now let's it heat up don't get in the habit of keeping that in there because once you have raw meat in here you don't want to do that um, remember we're about to put meat in there that's for only the cooked meatballs okay getting hot like fast turn the bubble yep good i'm going to meatballs going in yep i'm gonna make my way around to this side of the camera and i'm gonna start making little meatballs and then some Swedish meatballs are traditionally small so yeah but in ikea they're a bit big what do you think is that a good size yeah yeah, better do a good job cooking these. We don't want anything undercooked. You have to have them separated. So that's why I'm moving them around. How many you want at a time? Five. 
five at a time. Okay. That's been a bit close. The fifth one can go in the center. Okay. Okay, I can see that it's starting to cook. Okay. Well, it needs a lot more time though, because we need to cook all the way to the center. Try not to mix them around as much. You need to give them time to cook on each side and then flip, you know? That's why you move them around. You don't no, but if you move them too much, they're only, they don't have a chance to cook all the way to the middle. You need to leave them for a bit and then flip. I'll just leave them for a bit. Now it's just a time of waiting for a bit. And then when some meatballs are done, we're gonna make the sauce. Yeah. Well, come on, man your station. Stay by your meatballs. I've never made any kind of meatballs before, so I don't really know how long they should take to cook or anything. Me either. I don't think, um, yep, that's not cooked in the center. Well, you can flip it. That's fine. And give it a chance on the other side. That one stayed like that for like a long time. Well, you don't want them all on the edge over there. You see they're not getting as much oil. I'm gonna let that one cook. This one's not like cooked. Cooked. No. I'm gonna basically let him take the reins for this first batch completely and then we'll see how they come when he's done. We'll check if they're fully cooked in the middle and if they are, he can take the reins for the rest. If not, I'll help out a little bit. Also, don't mind my sparkling seltzers back there. <laughs> Some of them are cider. They're all cider. Apple cider? Yeah. Oh, they're starting to boil. Maybe oh, we this should one lower looks... the heat a little bit so they yeah. can have more time to cook, less high heat. If I could just shovel this one up. Careful, it's starting to fall apart. Yep. Yeah, do you need help with that one? Yeah. A bit. Barely in the space back here. I know. I have a small kitchen. I'm sorry. I want to get these just more towards the middle if possible. Because that's where the most heat is going to be. Because that's where the burner is. Mm -hmm. That one mm, does not look like it has been flipped at all. Oh, that side has not been cooked. That is a non cooked <laughs> side. If I just get it to the edge, I could just like try and flip it. Flipping is hard. Do you need some help? Because usually you would be in like a big tall pot. No, not for these kind of meatballs. You're thinking of Italian meatballs that we make with marinara sauce because then you cook it in the sauce in a big pot. Here, we're not doing that. Here, what? Smile. I think next batch we'll make them a little smaller so it's easier to cook them all the way through. What do you think? Yeah, cut it to the side where, where most of the butter is. Whoa, butter's popping everywhere. I saw a piece of butter go. I saw a piece of butter go. Wee! How you doing? You need some help or you got it? It looks like they're done, but I don't know. Let me take a look. That's definitely not done. Not yet. I'll try and show you. You see in there? Yeah, I see it. It's still pink. We need to make sure it's cooked The all outside is cooked. The middle that's isn't. not good enough. The whole thing needs to be cooked. I don't know if these are going to be too good. I've never made meatballs before. We're trying. We're trying. I feel like I should add a tad bit more oil. It's like almost, almost cooked all the way. Let's cook one of these meatballs in half. I'd rather have broken meatballs than not know if they're cooked all the way through, you know? Especially because we've never made meatballs before. So I think we need to make them way smaller in the next batch. Because I just broke all of these in half to make sure that they cook. It needs a few minutes and they should be good. They're like, crap! Completely on this Wyatt let me take over and hand away to play Fortnite. Get these all out. Hi Wyatt, come on, next batch! Alright, so you're gonna give it a go again where he's gonna cook and I'm gonna make the meatballs. But I'm gonna make them much smaller this time in hopes that uh, it'll be easier to cook them all the way through. We'll make lots of smaller ones. Come on Wyatt, I'm dropping meatballs in! Mix them! Mix them around! Make sure they're cooking good. Are you coming Wyatt? I think he just did me. I don't think he's coming back. I'll just clean my hands off and do it myself. I think these ones will turn out better. And I still feel like we need more oil. I just want it there to be enough oil that the whole pan is covered because it keeps like reducing down and then only on that side, you know? Wyatt, at least give me an answer. Are you coming back, yes or no? No. No? You're done? Yeah. So you came here to cook with me and you're ditching me for Fortnite? This is what you wanted to cook. You requested this. Well, I have been ditched. I feel like this guy is done, but I don't know. No. I kind of want to taste one. Why? Do you want to taste one? I'm going to taste what? it. Mm. Do you want to taste? Yeah. Come here. I'm going to turn the camera. Taste. It's good. Very good. And that's without sauce. That's without sauce. We're still going to make sauce too. See, the system is good. I don't know how to... Wyatt, do you really care if these look like meatballs or not? I don't care as long as they can taste them. I'm here for... It's for flavor, not, not about how they look. So, I'm just kind of going to wreck some of these in the middle of them and get cooked. Give that a minute. I think Lucy actually ditched me. Like, Start taking some of these out. Why? You don't want to try and help with the next batch? I'm building. Oh, he's building. Time for the next 
batch of meatballs. Hopefully it can be the last batch. But I'm gonna make them as small as possible this time, so. I'm trying to like, not necessarily just make them smaller, but make them flatter. I really don't want to do another batch, so I'm trying to get these all in there if possible. That last one's kind of wonky, but I don't know. I'm hoping that if they're flat enough, it'll work out. Cooking meatballs is so hard. Cooking meatballs. This is more just like making meat. <laughs> Not meatballs. They're like a mess. This is like kind of a fail. Let's check in how the potatoes are done. No one near done. Oh boy. Even these little baby guys are not cooked all the way to the middle. I don't know why. <sighs> This is like a fail video. See, it tastes really good. They're just not meatballs. They're just like random hunks of meat. Because we were able to get them cooked all the way through, just not in meatball shape. I say we, like, why it didn't ditch me. If some little pieces are good to go, I'm just trying to make sure it's fully cooked. Like this one needs a little more time. This looks good. It needs more time. I got a ton of heat off now. Looks so we're just about done. Alright, so this is what we ended up with random chunks of meat. But hey, so I'm gonna move this over there to cool off and get our next pot set up for our sauce. So be a minute. All right, we got our butter starting to melt in here. And once it is melted, I'm gonna start to whisk in our flour. I'm gonna start getting our flour in there. Give me some things last time. I'm not exactly gonna measure this together. That was kind of a lot, but and I accidentally got it on the stove. Oh well, I'll have to clean up what I spilled afterwards. I'm gonna need more butter, or actually, I'll just use oil. Next is gonna be in our broth and our heavy cream. It's gonna be two cups of beef broth. I think that's like two cups, approximately. Skin away. I'm definitely not doing a good job with this, but oh well. I'm trying my best here. Well, actually, am I trying my best? I could probably be doing a better job, but I'm tired. And my partner in cooking ditched me, so I'm just trying to get this done at this point. This is definitely way too thick. I'm just making a big mess at this point. Somehow, I need to make this way less thick. I'm like going rogue now. I'm not even following the recipe because I just need to fix this somehow. I'm gonna need to clean my whole stove after this, oh my gosh. I think we're just gonna have a very thick sauce. It is what it is. Okay, I'm supposed to have Worcestershire sauce in there. Never used this stuff before. Based on smell alone, I know that this is gonna be super tasty. It's just gonna be so thick. I'm trying to open the Dijon mustard. No, a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't know if it's supposed to be thick because I didn't add that much extra flour, but now it says to put the meat back in here for a little bit and cook it in here. Try and get this mixed into here as best I can. It looks like really gross, but it actually smells so good and I already know it's gonna taste delicious, but. All right, this we're just gonna leave with the heat really low. I wanna check on the potatoes. Potatoes are definitely not done. I mean, actually, we could mash them at this point. All right, this is too much going on all at once. I'm gonna pause the video and strain the potatoes off camera and come back when we're mashing them. This we're gonna leave here for a while, so you're not gonna see this again until it's plated, but I'll show us mashing the potatoes and stuff, so. Yeah, okay, so just a little bit of a problem. Got the mashed potatoes here. I cannot find my masher. Don't know what happened. So we're gonna try using this. If it doesn't work though, I don't really uh, know what to do. So I'm gonna try our best. I don't think this is gonna work. Let me try. Why do you not have a masher? I have one, I don't know where it is. I don't yeah, know Yeah, that's not to gonna it. work. Yeah, okay. That's not gonna work. New? I thought you were struggling with how using the masher. No, I don't know where the masher is. I can't find it. New plan is gonna be, cause boiling these is gonna take too long to get them so soft. I'm gonna bake this. Yeah, baking will make it even more soft. Yeah, and then try to use this. So I guess we'll see you in like a bit when I Ten bake hours. after a bit. Ten hours, no. <laughs> okay, so getting mashed potatoes really isn't gonna work, but the potatoes are cooked, so they're just like pieces of potato, yeah. like cooked potato now. So basically this has been a fail in terms of making things the way we actually wanted to make them, but we're about to taste and find out if it's actually a fail in terms of <clears throat> taste. Ready? Yep. Oh, wow. It's good. It's really good. I really like the sauce. What do you think, Why? Me too. It's good. It's really, really good. Really tasty. He has his potatoes separate from, but I put my stuff right, um, my meatballs and sauce right on top of the potatoes. It's not really sauce because mm. it's really thick, but it's really good. Yeah, it is. So, 
I'll eat this this whole thing for my dinner. All right, this is my goodbye. dinner. Well, that's pretty much it. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Happy Vedim, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs>